Hello everyone, welcome to Coding Decoded. My name is Sanjay Radej. I am working as SD4 at Adobe and here I present solutions to day 6 of October Lead Code Challenge. The problem that we have in today is time based key value store. This is a design level question slightly different from the regular DSA problems that we solve. Here in this question we need to implement the time map class. It has three helper methods in it. The first one is the constructor, other one is the setter, third one is the getter. So I'll be talking about the question as well as the algorithm why the presentation. So let's quickly hop onto it. Lead code 981 time based key value store. This is a medium level question on lead code, but I don't feel the same. If you are well aware of vectors, maps in C++ and tree maps in Java, then this question is a cakewalk for you. Also in case if you have any doubt understanding this problem, please feel free to drop a message on the telegram group of coding decoded. If you want any referrals for internships or placements, then that is the right place for you. We have more than 1500 developers from all top notches who are always ready to help. Without further ado, let's quickly try and understand the question. Let's try and understand the question by the same set of examples that was specified in the question. You will be given instructions to set and retrieve values from your map. Uh, each set instruction will have three associated properties with it. The first one is the key, which would be of type string. The next one is the value, which would be again of type string. And the third one would be version. So it basically represents that the same key is going to have different values for different versions. I can create a, a very good analogy for this. For example, let's assume the, that the key happens to be job. And back in 2015, when I passed out of college, the company that I was working for was Samsung SRIB Bangalore. So the version value would have 2000, 2015 over there and the value or the company that was S I, that I was associated with was SRIB. So let me just write SRIB over here. The next entry that I would have as part of this map would be. For example, right now in 2022, I am part of Adobe and let's hypothetically assume that I joined Adobe in 2022. So let me just write Adobe over here and now let's talk about the get methods because those are equally interesting. So if you pass in to, to this same map, you're asking for the value corresponding to the key job, you need to pass in the version value as well, which would be of type integer. So let's assume that the version value that is passed is 2021 and the key that we have passed to it happens to be job. So I want to retrieve that for the key as job in 2021, which was the company I was associated with. So as per this data, I was associated with SRIB. So the version value is 2021. I look out for equal or lower value in this entire map. What is that entry? That entry comes as 2015 comma SRIB. So I'll be returning SRIB over there as an answer. Had it been the case, the version would have been 2022. In that case, I would have returned Adobe as the answer. I would have retrieved this entry from my map and corresponding to this entry, which company maps to 2022, it is Adobe. And let's take another hypothetical case. Uh, let's assume that in the get call, it is the value that is passed as version is 2023. Again, for this same data, this entry will be retrieved immediately lower one that of 2023, lower or equal to 2023. And that would come as Adobe, this entry, and I will be returning Adobe as the answer over here. The solution to this problem lies in choosing the appropriate data structure to represent this information. And what that data structure would be, that would be a map of maps. And this would be a sim simple blank map where the key would be of type string and the value would be of type tree map. And this tree map basically would help us store all the entries that are part of this tree map in a sorted fashion on the based of the integer value that is being passed as version over here. And retrieval from the stream map takes the complexity of log n, which reduces the time drastically. This is the crux of the problem, guys. We can quickly iterate over this example that was specified in the question. Uh, what we are going to do, uh, we are going to set a uh, foo version 1 value bar. So corresponding to foo, we will have an entry that is, that is a new tree map and the key would be 1 
the chat will act as a version and the value would be bar so let me just write it over here uh, the next call is for get what do we need to get we need to get the key corresponding to foo the version is 1 since uh, there exists an entry over uh, the map that has the key foo what is the tree map as part of this foo entry it has one version associated with this this matches with each other bar would be returned as the answer let's proceed ahead next we have another get call where in the version that is being passed is 3 so since 3 is not part of this tree map what we are going to do we'll fall back to the immediate lower value what is the immediate lower value 1 comma bar as a result of which bar is returned as the final answer the next one is foo bar to 4 that means corresponding to foo we need to add a new entry and a new entry is going to be added with the version value 4 uh the final value that is going to be stored over here would be bar 2 so let's do that the next call is foo corresponding to version 4 again we we'll look out for this entire map what is the immediate equal or lower value in our tree maps corresponding to 4 it is this one as a result of which bar 2 would be returned so the problem lies in identifying the corresponding entry equal to or lower than the version value that is being passed in the get call the last one is foo comma 5 uh, which value would be retrieved this value would be retrieved the answer would be bar 2 pretty simple and straightforward the time complexity for the get method would be equal to the number of entry that we have corresponding to one key value log n of that so let's quickly walk on to the coding section and conclude the entire approach here in the first go in the constructor i create a new hash map and uh, this hash map will basically store the entire store the map has uh, the key as type string the value as type tree map internally the tree map has two attributes the key for this is version and the value for this is of type string that will actually store the value to be returned in the get calls so let's walk through the set method it accepts three parameters string key string value and the time stamp this which is actually acting as the version so i have used generic over here store dot compute if absent you pass in the key you extract the corresponding tree map if it is not if it does not exist you initialize it to new tree map and you immediately put the corresponding entry over here uh, the key is time stamp which is the version the value is the actual value that is being set let's walk through the get method uh, the intent is to identify the appropriate version through which retrieval will be made so if my store contains this key what do i what i'm going to do i am going to get the corresponding tree entry from it and then i'll look out for the floor value corresponding to that time stamp why floor value because we need to search for equal or lower value then what is being passed over here if it is not there then we will return null in case my version is not null i'll extract the corresponding value from my tree entry and i simply otherwise i'll simply return empty as the answer so let's try and submit this up accepted in case you are looking for c++ solution then sarang put it github repo i really appreciate his effort and a lot of other subscribers also do the same on regular basis they this helps them maintain great consistency levels with this let's wrap up today's session i hope you enjoyed it if you did then please don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel thanks for viewing it have a great day ahead and stay tuned for more updates from coding decoded i'll see you tomorrow with another fresh question but till then goodbye